Hello everyone and welcome to the Minecraft summary for two weeks in a row because last week it was really hot and I couldn't be bothered. Um, <clears throat> also, last week we didn't really get that much of interest done. Um, we've been really, really focusing down these quests. The quests in tier four are now complete and we've started on test quest five, but last week we hadn't completed quest in four because we've been heading towards the rocket. We have finally built a rocket. All of this, the, a large amount of this was done last week. Uh, we all focused on a quest line. I think a lot of, uh, about half of this was maybe done the week before. I, I honestly can't remember. It's been so long. Um, but let me show you the difficulty of a rocket. I think we covered this. I feel like I've told you this. Um, actually, it's there in my list. So all of this is quite complex. You know, there's four nose cones, a lot of heavy duty plate, rocket fins, rocket engine, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. I believe last week I showed you, or at least recently I showed you, the automation that I did for um, the advanced crafting tables. You remember those, the big 5x5 five five crafting tables, which was what we were um, sort of faking when we were doing the semi-automatic crafting. Let me recap. Let me re-go over it for you. Down here, semi-automatic crafting. So these two interfaces here are cleverly hiding the magic that means that if you request a ME controller, for example, if you request a carpenter, we could probably put carpenter in the things actually. If you request any of these, instead of crafting it, it will put the requisite pieces into this chest. It will send a fake one around the system so that the AE system believes that the craft is complete and then you have to do it yourself. That is why it's semi-automatic crafting. It fetches the things for you but it does not do the crafting. Then we finally managed to learn about these things, the automation interfaces. If you have a look at those, they're not extremely expensive, but some of this is quite pesky. Triberium is probably the most difficult thing to get. The linear actuator does need jorksum and carmesine. Uh, I'm not sure if we're, if we've got a supply of that right now. So that is kind of one of those not sure if it's expensive or not things but we've got an array of these now each one is one recipe naturally and of course there is the uh sus the, the sus itself about the recipes right here so you put the recipe in that so when you set this up it's really annoying you have to have the items that you need to actually build the thing you put them in the crafting table and then you don't craft it but this thing being on top you then save the recipe instead which crafts it so you, you're going to get one, <laughs> even if you didn't want another one. But since you've automated it, chances are you want several. Uh, so we've automated a few things. We've got the um, iron tank, stone tank. This is a stone tank. I keep nearly clicking clear recipe, and that's terrible. Don't do that. Copper tank. Uh, import bus. Nope. Terminal. Uh, and then this one, which is one I've done this week, but we won't get to that yet. Uh, and then the iron tank is an elite crafting table. But if you recall... These only work because it's actually only made of four things. It's just made of a lot of those four things. Uh, the ones over here, as we just noticed, the ME interface, for example, is made of this sort of fake item, the ME interface, the ME controller. So the ME controller part one gets crafted. All the items go into the chest. It pulls the ME controller part one boots back into the system. It goes, oh, I've made that bit. Now I can make the next bit and puts the rest of it in uh, controller. So you see it's got one two three four five six things only one of which is the is that thing right so there are six things five things plus these things which is nine plus five which is 14 there's 14 things in this recipe you could only put nine things in the pattern terminal don't know if you've noticed right you can only make a pattern with nine things you can have as up to a stack of each but only nine things which is why that was a problem there does exist a thing to get around it, which I remembered about, or rather watched Direwolf 20 play, and it was about, it's called this packager. And what this does, this this set of things here, there's a package recipe encoder, a packager, an unpackager, and this extension, which all the extension is for. So the way this stuff works is that you can basically make one recipe by using multiple uh, patterns, which is what we tried to do, right? Um, we made a pattern for a fake item, and a pattern for the real item, which has a sub pattern of the fake item. This one just uses multiple patterns to hold multiples of nine. Easy. And then you 
encode the recipe in here. This then creates as many patterns as it needs to to hold that entire recipe. And then when you request it, you send it to an unpackager, which then puts it into the inventory or whatever it is that you're using to create the thing. And that all has to be in uh, processing mode. The problem is that the packager needs this ME packaging component, which needs a package. One of these things is not like the other ones. Which one is it? This one. One of these, somewhere here, requires a thing that we don't have. We could do reinforced alloys. We could do majestic components. Uh, elite control circuits are expensive for a start. There's iridium, there's crystal tea. These are very, very expensive. And somewhere in here, there is something that we don't have. It's this, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's a workbench schematic. Uh, I wasn't fully 100% how we get that. People were trying to tell me, and I was either not hearing them, not listening, or they weren't speaking properly, or they weren't explaining themselves. But you can't make one. There's no recipe for this. Uh, you have to get it somehow. Uh, I believe it's created in something, and you, you know, you... you Get it from exploring, but you have to go into space. So we can't actually do these expensive recipes, these recipes with lots of things in, but I did hack it anyway. <laughs> I still made it work. So one of these, uh, the ME terminal has two, these, this is nine separate things here, plus two, which is 11, as you know, because that's how counting works. So what I've done is I've basically done the same thing, right? you have the encoded pattern for crafting a terminal and the encoded pattern for crafting the part one. So what it's going to do, it's going to put all of those things, all, that should be nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's nine things in there, and three things in there, one of which is that, that's 11, right? It's going to put those nine things into this inventory and it's also going to put, it's going to go, right, I've, I've crafted that. But then it's going to put this i can't remember how i did it <laughs> how did this work it was magic because what happens is this one puts this one ah yeah this so when you are trying to craft the crafting to <laughs> this is horrible so this is our fake item right this represents the first part of the emmy crafting terminal when you craft part one of the me crafting terminal it's gonna put all of the items it needs all nine items all nine types into this inventory which is then going to go into the table underneath and they're going to go in the right places so they, they know where they live Don't even click on the table so it's going to drop them all in and when it is crafting it's going to turn this level emitter on emit when redstone is crafting and make this servo pull this item out and back into the system so that it believes that it has successfully crafted part one, just like we did for the semi-automatic crafting. Then it's going to put that and the other two things into this interface. The other two things are going to go into the table where they belong, but there is a secret mode in config, auto eject. The interface will automatically eject items from the input slot to the output slot if the item can't be inserted into the table. So it's going to put that pair of trousers into that input slot, this automation interface is going to go, I reject this, put it into the output slot, which is then going to be recovered as if it were the result of crafting. But it's not. But it doesn't matter because it didn't know that it was trying to craft that. I don't think this will work twice. I don't think you can craft two of these. But that's what happens when you don't have the packager. So we have worked around it in basically the same way as we worked around the semi-automatic crafting that needed more than that. We've got a level emitter that extracts a fake item and then this thing happens to have a mode that lets us have that fake item back if it tries to be used for crafting. What a palaver. Nevertheless we've done it. We have done it. Other things that we tried to deal with. We have made an ultimate crafting table that is upstairs. It's not that impressive. It's just upstairs. You can go and see it if you want to. Um, and we made our way through all these steels. So I um, was working through these things. Tier 1 radiation layer. This is wool and lead. This here is wool cloth. And then these things, which is a lot of compressed tin and compressed steel. And this oxygen vent, which is a lot of compressed tin and compressed steel. And this tin canister, which is a lot of compressed tin. A lot of not compressed tin. And some silicon. 
So there's a lot of tin and steel in that. And then this one is four pieces of aluminium, right? Another challenge. First of all, compressing the tin and steel is slow. Lawrence told you this in last week's episode because he was compressing aluminium in the same way. So we put down a compressor and I went, this is slow as heck. So this week I have quadrupled, we had one of these there. Now, look at this mess. Look at this mess. If you use a vanilla mechanic to drop, say, tin into here, it will work correctly. Tin. Compressed. What do we got that needs compressing? Compressed aluminium. Let's ask for one. Go. Start. So it's going to craft four of these. I said it was going to craft four of these. There we go. So those are going to go on and I've changed those a little bit as well, right? That's okay. And then those are going to go into here as plates. I'm going to get immediately ejected in your own time. There we go. One, two, three, four. They're going to get sucked out and put into this hopper. I'm going to drop them into here. One of these hoppers. This one. It's dropped up into here. Now what it's doing is gone one, two, three. It knows how to put them in if you let a hopper drop them in. If you let ME put them in, it's just going to put all four into here. That's not the recipe. They have to be separate. So if they're falling into the system, the compressor will put them in the right place. But if they're forced into the system by ME, I think what M, the, the, the interface does is it goes, right, I'm supposed to put these things in there. There you go. They're all in the first uh, inventory slot. This is just an inventory according to it. But if it is being given them slowly one at a time, like the, like the hopper does, we'll go in the right place. So now we've created our aluminium, compressed aluminium, which works for all of these. Did find a cool thing out though. If you're using a reinforced servo, you can set it to round robin mode. That's great because that means that if you get, you know, some in here, if you wanted to make you know, 16, you're going to have 16 times 4, 64. You're going to have a full stack of um, aluminium plates in here, and you're going to want to round robin it so that you can do one in each, right? Four, 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 four. This uh, stack size is the exact amount that will be extracted and the amount that will be round robin did right so if i had this on eight then what it's going to do is it's going to take eight out and put it in there it's going to take another eight out and put it in there it's going to take another eight right i've got it on four so that it does one recipe per thing because it's only ever going to put multiples of four in there in the first place i expect there is probably a boundary condition where between ticks maybe it's done three and three no, I don't think, I think it will put all four in at the same time. So it should be fine. But, you know, if, it, if there were three plates of two types, each of two types, it's going to take three of one and then one and then round robin that way. I don't, I'm not sure if it will do it that way, but it hasn't happened yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. So that made me come over here and fix up this. So now this is actually also on a stack size of four. So this was on 32. So the reason all this was slow um, is that it was pulling 32 out at a time and round robin the whole stack. So if you only ask for a few things, like if you ask for a stack of plates, it's going to put 64 in there, 32 will happen in here, 32 will happen in here, and then you've got three more compressed compactors just not doing anything. So at four at a time, that's it's a nice balance because what happens is it's going to take four and then four and then four. It's not like it can do 32 at a time, but if you take it down to four, it doesn't go four times as fast or eight times as fast. It goes at the same speed, one a second. And I don't think you can speed that up. Possibly you can speed that up with the next level of server. We should find out. And I've also upgraded all these. So these are all signalum level now. So these go really, really fast. They've all got as much augmentation as they can have. They're all drinking all the power that we've got. These go as fast as possible. These things are still slow as molasses. Now, here's the problem. The main component of many of these things, including the rocket itself, is this heavy duty plate, which is made in a compressor. Compressor, steel, aluminium, bronze. This does not work the same way as everything else. With the ones where it's all the same item, it will put one, two, three, four and start the recipe and it will keep stacking them in that order. So if you ask for four of them and you've got 16 up there, it's going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's going to end up making four. This one will just put it in however it wants. The only way to automate the compressor in any 
Minecraft at this level is to have something that will tell the inventory it's connected to where to put the item. So you need something that knows the shape of the crafting recipe and will put it in the interf in the inventory and then pull out what's what's left. Nothing like that has existed since Buildcraft fell off the face of the planet, <laughs> right? So the only way to uh, automate this is to do it in the master assembler. I will be right back. So in this secret place back here, I have put in this chest the machine blueprint for the master assembler 2K20. Why? Because if you open it up, you will notice that it is a ridiculously complicated machine. The inventory, the, here's a sort of, right, so it's one of these, right? Here is a modular machinery thing that is doing a whole bunch of magic. This is making loads of ingots of loads of different types. So the way this works is you make a blueprint and it tells you what the multi-block structure looks like. Right? So you can have a look at the, uh, the layers. So underneath layer, middle layer, top layer, you can look at this shapey thing here. You can't change this, which is annoying. Uh, but look, it tells you what you need. Machine controllers, reinforced machine cases, blah, blah, blah. A whole bunch of stuff there. But look, Naquadar alloy block. Solid meteoric iron, Naquadar. I wonder where this comes from. Naquadar or can be found on the moon. So we can't automate the stuff that we need to make a rocket until we've been to the moon with the rocket. And don't forget, I may not have mentioned, we need a rocket each. If we all want to go. We need a rocket each. So Pete's been making rockets. Good on him. Very, very appreciate that. Um, and I have been basically making as many recipes as I can. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me out. This is the one to go out of. So if you have a look in here, you'll see that, well... I'll just look in here. Um, the stuff that was in the the armor layer, the pressure layer, the radiation layer. Um, if I just search for tier one, oh, need to pressure layer ready. Right, so I made all of these, and I made enough of them to satisfy the thing, and then we needed even more of everything. Absolutely insane. The amount of steel and tin that got through was ludicrous, and we are making we can make steel, right? If you have a look at the steel recipe. It's made of steel essence. We've used 32k of the dang stuff, right? Don't forget, we can't automate heavy plates. <laughs> so it doesn't actually matter. Um, we can't... Tough, right? You can't automate heavy plates. So you have to go over to the personal crafting area all the way over here and request the bits you need. Which we've been doing. Here's the silo. So Pete's made this silo. Let's land in it the proper way instead of going through the thing. It's actually really cool. It's got all these, uh, do you recognize the sound? Do you recognize the sound? 1993 gamers will recognize the sound. Uh, we've got these cool monitors. We've got a, a desk, which we can't sit at. You have to stand here like a, like an ensign. You could, you, you could go in the door if you really wanted to. I didn't want to. I've got slime boots. Uh, and we've made a rocket. There's a rocket here. And there's a launch pad. And there's a fuel loader. Is there fuel? Don't know. I guess so, because it would have been a quest, right? Fuel loader, frequency module. What you're traveling to space, you should first cross a frequency wearable item. To here in space. And for telemetry. Ah, science. So we've done a lot. Pete's and slash or Mike has made this cool thing. It's got modern lights in it, which you need for a rocket silo. We've got a rocket, which looks like Button Moon. Um, and we're about ready to go. How many space suites do we have? We've got three space suites of these types. Is that a three? So we've got three of those and three of those. So we only need two more of each. Don't we have an incomplete? Uh, in the in the in the quest list, there was so we had to go through this thing. Right? So there's a space suite tier one, before which there was an unprepared space suite. So um, maybe someone is already wearing their space suite and therefore um, it's not in the system. Oh, it's loud, isn't it? Sorry, not sorry, I guess. Do I have my space suite in either of my... No, maybe I should just take my space suite. So I'll take the helmet and I think I'll just shift click, you only need one of each. There we go, so we can go into space now. I'm not going to. <laughs> we'll save that for the stream. Don't forget to watch the stream. So then, 
because steel was such a big deal, I came over here and I went, hang on, how are we making steel essence? It's this. We've got one seed. Look how fast it grows, though. It's really good, right? So it's making a few st steel essence every so often. But the reason it's growing that fast is down here. Boop. These things, growth accelerators, they're underneath most of the farm. But this particular one, this stack here is under the steel seeds. And you can apparently stack up to 40 of these things underneath. <laughs> right? So there's apparently just a stack of 40, because of reasons, which is causing that steel seed to grow like bilio. But it wasn't fast enough, because once you start actually using it, uh, it goes down really, really fast. Like, what was it that I was trying to make? I can't remember. I was trying to make something. One of these. I think I was actually just trying to help out with the rocket, right? So I automated a lot of these, because we need more rockets. So you can craft a rocket engine, and the rocket engine needs heavy duty plates which you have to do yourself and then all of this stuff not actually that um expensive actually but you need three of those you also need a uh, nose cone which is more heavy duty plates that's it actually uh you need what was it a shock absorber all right so all of these things we've actually got two of those but i, I made it craftable anyway everything needs a huge amount of steel including the fact that we need to make a lot of heavy duty plates. Heavy duty plates, remember making them on our own. So I wanted to automate steel. I wanted another steel seed, right? Steel seed. Let's look for steel seed. Four blocks of steel, huge amount of superior essence, more actual steel, and a crafting seed, which is a bunch of horrible stuff, which is a crafting, which is a bunch of horrible, right? So this is an expensive recipe. But if we had a second one, it would double the speed at which we're making steel, if and only if we can make another 40 of these. So I did it. The growth accelerator requires the advanced crafting table, compressed stone, which I think we're making passively over time anyway. Mana seal, easy. Inferium, easy. Mana diamond, easy. Fertile soil. How to make that in a compost bin? There is no recipe for this thing you merely put something in a compost bin and wait for 150 seconds so i automated it that's over here in this level emitter if we have less than 1024 fertile soil in the system this reinforced server will start round robbing eight at a time of these wheats which should be being exported why are you not being exported It's got a crafting card, so this should be crafting them. You start to add more craft item. This should be exporting. I'm pretty sure you're not sensitive to redstone, because you need a redstone card to be sent. Anyway, this will start round robining things into the hoppers. The hoppers will fill up the compost, and then under there, there's just a line of hoppers that feed into each other, right? If you know vanilla mechanics, you'll know that since that item hopper is connected to that one, then it'll fall into there, then it'll fall into there, then it'll fall into there, then it'll fall into here. There's an ME interface, which is only there to collect the stuff. There's an export bus, which is filling this chest up with wheat, except it's not doing so. Let's find out why. Wheat. Why are you not doing it? You need hay. Oh, we have a recipe for hay. We do. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's my mistake. I thought that we were uh, making hay some other way. Might fix that now while we're looking. So this would be crafting wheat, except for the fact that I made a circular mechanic where wheat is crafted from wheat. So we ran out. But luckily, we've got 1,024 fertile soil. So there will always be fertile soil in the system there's always going to be an abundance as well because it doesn't really stop exporting the stuff like it's exporting the stuff into the chest all the time but this thing is not going to stop this thing from putting things in these things until this thing has managed to get 1024 so these are all going to be full of wheat when we get 1024 so it's going to complete the crafts 
all the ones that are sort of waiting in the buffer and you know then do it so now we can make a growth accelerator we've got 21 already i don't know how we managed it and look we have all the stuff how much compressed stone do you think we have uh let's do one x we've got one x compressed gravel and stone five so we can make one more <laughs> six look it's going up so the the stone is being produced somewhere i'm sure someone will show you that i don't know where that's happening something is doing that uh is it craftable it is from 2x compressed stone okay that's weird because i'm assuming that they're in a draw <laughs> so while I think that what's happening is there's a draw with just stone in it, which is turning it into compressed stone and 2x compressed stone. I'm not quite sure why we need a crafting recipe. But, you know, I don't know. Um, meanwhile, Lawrence has been doing some quests. People have been doing quests in between, basically, but we have not yet been to the moon. That is the first part of tier 5. So we need enough space suites, enough rockets, uh, and enough... <laughs> bravery to actually set off to the moon and we filled in a few of these uh you know optional quests here and there as well but that's been it that's two two episodes in 26 minutes because we have just built in down this line of quests to get to the rocket so we can get to the moon and all i've really been doing is making as many crafting recipes as i can to facilitate the process uh, we're going to need way more steel in future because uh, even though lawrence is going to finish his part of the series when we launch the rocket and i don't know maybe drop him once or twice i don't know can we um first of all that's naughty secondly how are we still suffering from skeletons at this at our age you know excuse me uh that's very rude i'm trying to jump in the air but i seem to be lagging a lot Just have it. Where are you? There you are. Very naughty. <laughs> I do not appreciate that sort of treatment from my own homegrown local skeletons. Anyway, free range skeletons. Get them while they're hot. Um, but if we're going to continue with the rest of us, we're going to need way more steel. And that single steel plant is not keeping up. So I would like to make some more. Uh, and that is why I automated growth accelerators. Somewhere around here is the stone. So this is how it's working. Look, so this is six X compressed stone. So we've actually, I guess the reason it works is that this drawer contains stone here and also six X compressed stone. For look, if I take out one, we lose the stone as well. So it's the same stuff. It's a compressing drawer. As soon as we get to nine of those, we'll also have one of those. But there's also these other ones here where it sort of passes along through the chain. So we have 641 4x compressed stone, right? So if I take one out, it doesn't change anything, but if I take one of these out, these all go down. Um, I think they get pushed across, they forced across rather than go across automatically. But the point is, if you wanted 1x compressed stone, we've got 7 six x compressed stone that's a lot of one x compressed stone we can fabricate it if we need to it's not a problem so we're going to be able to make our growth accelerators we're going to be able to grow a whole bunch of stuff lots of our materials will come from the farm i've completely given up on bees because i couldn't get it to work and it's i lost interest very quickly but you know at least i can admit it thank you for watching i hope that you will join us on the stream for hopefully the launch launch time I'm hungry. Uh, but until then, don't forget to check out Lawrence's video, one of these two, and I'll see you next time. Bye!